One really important feature when modifying uh, and editing objects is the feature to round up the corners or to change the corners radius of those objects. So the rule is that any straight corner can be rounded. And let's see how it works, for example, with a rectangle. So for the rectangle, the corners are actually straight. And if you want to round them up, in Vector it works. The way is that you have to double click the figure. And then you have, you have those internal controls that let you round up the corners that you want. See, external controls let you change the figure size itself, whereas the internal ones let you round up the corner. Let's see one more example. Let's create a rounded rectangle, make it, for example, red or rather pinky. Double click, and then if we want to change the corner radius of all of the corners equally, we have to hold shift and then drag one of the corners. That will change the, the corner radius of all of the corners equally. See, and then from the rounded rectangle, effectively we have an ellipse. Not only rectangle or, or rounded rectangles can be actually rounded, we can also round up their paths. So let's create a path. Click enter to finish. And so again, the, these corners are straight and so we can round them up. Double click the path. And using the internal controls over here, we can round up the corners. Internal, yes, and here again. The same way. Let's create a curved path now. So start dragging to create some curves. Click enter to finish. And so again, as you maybe remember, we can actually change their curved points to straight points. So double click the path and double click the curved anchor points that you want to change to a straight one. And here we have the straight points again. Now you can double click the curved path and uh, change the corner radius of those. Same way here double click and you can change the corner radius.